It was the worst day ever. He wanted to ride his bike. And um, we heard a whole bunch of sirens. We didn't know what was going on. And he got hit by a car. He had like two veins in his head had busted. And it was filling up fast. Hyatt needed the high level of care that is unique to Levine Children's Hospital in this region. He had bleeding into his brain, which required emergent surgery via our neurosurgery team shortly after arrival to Levine Children's Hospital and required removal of part of his skull and drainage of the blood in his brain. That he also had an injury to the very top of his spine. He required emergent surgery to fuse that area of the spine. We didn't realize how bad it was until we got there. Medical records say he was internally decapitated. He required intubation and a breathing tube and a mechanical ventilator for almost two weeks during his course here at Levine Children's Hospital. We were just so anxious to see if he could talk to us still. And as soon as he, they took that tube out, he said that he loved us. It was the best feeling in the world, knowing that he was there. From the instant we got to Levine Children Hospital, everybody really showed like a lot of care for him, especially in the PICU. They would come in there and talk to us and stay 30, 45 minutes just talking to us. It was very comforting in the way they handled things, too. He required the coordination of services between pediatric critical care teams, pediatric trauma team, neurosurgical teams eventually inpatient pediatric teams and the rehab team as well. So a true multidisciplinary approach to take care of Hyatt. And so coordinating all of his care amongst all of the care teams was not only essential for his care and for his outcome, but requires very detailed, coordinated discussions, communication on an hourly basis. And Hyatt exceeded any and all expectations. The team told us that he suffered no brain damage. So that was that was amazing to hear. His recovery is just amazing. He's just he's back to being himself. It's been incredible. He had a very high risk of severe permanent brain injury, as well as a high risk of partial or full paralysis. And it is because of the true multidisciplinary approach from top to bottom that allows a patient like Hyatt to have an incredible outcome where he literally walks out of the hospital four weeks later. That recovery, that amount of excitement, not only from Hyatt, but from his family, shows what a team effort can truly accomplish.